Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips and I want to talk to you about the food and beverages and what is included with the cruise. So first of all, on the Majestic Princess, there are three main dining rooms. There's the Allegro, the Concerto, and the Symphony. Now the menu in the main dining room changes every day, but each one of the dining rooms serves the same menu on any given day. And so you can go to any of the dining rooms and eat the same food if that makes sense. So the menu for that day will be posted outside of the dining room on the wall, so you can look at it there. And then I understand it is also, post, also supposed to be available in the Medallion Class app that we'll be using on our smartphones or tablets. And so you'll be able to look at it there as well. Everything that is on the menu in the main dining room is included, unless it is something that has a price next to it. So usually the main dining room menus just list all of the food that you can order. And by the way, you can order as much as you would like of whatever it is you would like, and that doesn't cost extra. If there happens to be something that has a dollar sign next to it, that will cost extra. The first time that I saw that was on our cruise that was in January of 2020. We went to Antarctica and on that cruise they had some steaks in the main dining room that had a charge on them and that was extra. They were happened to be the steaks that you could usually get in the Crown Grill and they made them available to people eating in the main dining room. And so that is the only time something in the main dining room will cost. Of course if you order in any alcoholic beverages or any other beverages that are not included in a package that you have, those will cost extra as well. But as far as food goes in the main dining room, that is always included and you can always have a glass of water. If you want to order any bottled water, um, whether it is still or carbonated, that will cost extra. But again, they will tell you. And so that is how it works in the main dining room. There is also the World Marketplace Buffet. That is a really excellent buffet. They have lots and lots of different entrees with every meal and they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. Um, I forgot to tell you that in the main dining room, they are always open for dinner. They are sometimes open for lunch and they are often open for breakfast and you'll be able to see that in either the patter. I don't know if they're gonna do the patter since we've got the Medallion Class app this time, but um, you will be able to t look at the schedule no matter where they have the schedule and see if it'll be open or not. The breakfast in the main dining room is always extra special and they always have juice and hot chocolate and water and coffee that's included. Not specialty coffees, just regular coffee. And so that's um, how that works. But um, it's always lovely to eat in the main dining room. So keep that in mind whenever you have time. And um, so anyway, back to the buffet. So in the World uh, Marketplace Buffet, they always have lots of different entrees. They have really nice salads. They have excellent desserts. They have really nice cheese and cold cuts. They have lots of different kinds of bread to eat. It is really nice. I think that everyone can find something that they like to eat there. And as I said, they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. And so that's always a nice option if you need something to eat. Then also they have Alfredo's Pizza. That is a little restaurant and they make different kinds of pizza and some different pasta dishes usually, and that is included as well. You don't have to have reservations to eat there, but I believe that you can make reservations if you want to. There's also the International Cafe. That is on the bottom level there of the piazza, just off the piazza, and I really like the International Cafe. It is open 24 hours, and they always have a variety of salads and sandwiches and desserts. They usually have cookies, and they often will have a kind of soup that you can have if you want, and right next to it is a place where you can get um, hot chocolate or specialty coffee, whatever you'd like, and so that is open 24 hours, and it is wonderful. It's really nice to pop down there when you want a little something extra. Then um, it also says that on the Majestic Princess, there's the chopstick noodle bar by the pool. And I'm wondering if that has taken the place of the pizza place on this trip. Um, I kind of hope not because I really like the pizza, but um, I'm sure it'll be nice to try some noodles too. And then also they have the burger and lobster grill that has burgers and hot dogs and french fries, things like that, and that is included. If anything, I want you to know that if you are new to cruising, if anything costs extra it is always stated so you won't be charged and be surprised by it later um, 
I know that usually they have a soft serve ice cream place over by the pool and often they make milkshakes there as well and on the cruises that I have been on the milkshakes cost extra but it always says that on the sign and so you won't be surprised so if you ever have any questions don't hesitate to ask if there are other eating I know a lot of ships will like have a gelato place or a fancy chocolate place those always cost extra as well and so don't hesitate to ask now in as well as having these different eating venues they also have the specialty restaurants those always cost extra and you have to have a reservation to eat there so I've noticed on our medallion class app that you can book those reservations now and if you know that you want to eat in one of those restaurants it's good to go ahead and book it because they traditionally sell out and so if you want to eat somewhere and you try to make a reservation and they're all filled up just keep checking back because people's plans do change and sometimes they'll just um, cancel the reservation and then you could pick it up. The other thing that you have to think about as far as beverages go on a cruise is at breakfast time, uh, even in the buffet, they always have um, orange juice and water and just um, regular coffee, not fancy coffee, those are all included, and milk. And um, the rest of the day, those same options aren't always there. And so that's a good time to get those if you would like. Those are included then. But also they have different beverage packages. And so I suggest you just look on the Princess website to see which one works the best for you. My husband and I always get the classic soda package because we don't drink alcohol. But with the classic soda package, it costs $11.79 a day. But you can have all the fountain soda that you want. And and it also includes fruit juices, smoothies, and mocktails. And so you can have as many as you want. So we always get that. And then, um, but I know that they have packages for alcoholic beverages and um, for coffees. So just look at those and see how much you think you will drink and if those are a better option or just paying um, on a per drink basis is a better option for you. Take a look at those and see what you think. I also wanted to tell you that they have a water bottle package that you can get 12 water, water bottles for $7.08 and they actually will deliver it to your stateroom for you. And you book that like when you're on your um, logged in on Princess and you're in your cruise personalizer there under your cruise, just click on onboard services and that'll bring up that as one of the options that you can go ahead and pay that. But you have to book that before your cruise. You can't do that once you're on board. And so just go in and do that now if you want that. We do that because it's cheaper than buying the bottled water once you're in ports. It makes it really handy to have water bottles to take on our excursions with us. And if we want any other wa bottled water, that's just the cheapest way to do it. So kind of keep that in mind. If you think of anything that I haven't covered and you've got questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below and I'm happy to find out the answer if I don't know the answer and I'll um, let you know. If you have any other questions or concerns, go ahead and put those down there as well. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Until I do talk to you, take really good care. God bless you and love you. Bye-bye.